That was quite uh, insightful. Thank you so much for sharing. Now, if we dig a little bit deeper into the uh, the other side of AI, which is human emotions and human touch uh, when it comes to customer success. And while AI can provide data-driven insights, uh, there's still a need for human intuition, especially when it comes to understanding customer emotions and storytelling, right? So how do you see product marketers balancing the efficiency of AI with the need for a human touch in their messaging and strategies? I would say back it up with data, right? A lot of the things that we do um, is connecting the human emotions to the work that we do. So yes, uh, AI can help tell you uh, what exists in the industry and how the market is, but it's our responsibility to look into the future and shape what we want that future to be. So a lot of the work that we do, whether it's um, creating the right OKRs, thinking about the structure and format of how we want to engage. I like to think of three pillars, right? The first one is aligned to that customer. It's about creating the awareness, the brand uh, voice, looking at what those are integrated marketing programs look like. So we are connecting the dots between all parts of that buyer journey, not just the first or the last from discover to advocacy, but the end to end. And I think we as product marketing can be that thread AI, as much as it wants to, it cannot be that threat, right? So we can bring that human emotion into the mix. The second part is where I like to think about us as a team. So how do we function as one team? So I like to align the second objective for my team, looking at employee. This is across product, sales, marketing, customer success, all coming together so that we act as one voice, right? I've often heard customers and We've probably experienced this ourselves when we look at our opportunities and um, maybe products and services we bought where you're like, oh, the company that I just bought from and I went through all the buying journey, I went through all the stages, it is completely different from once I am now using the product and implementing the product, right? That exists and that's the reason why whether you're creating your content for your blog, whether you're creating content for a webinar or even for understanding like the competitive intelligence stuff, tie it back to that persona, tie it back to, am I speaking their language? Do they understand what I'm trying to communicate, right? If there's a specific industry you're going after, then understand the industry term, right? When you're going after healthcare, do you understand what HIPAA is? Uh, when you're going after financial services, do you understand what is needed in that industry and what are some of the nuances that come in? That I think is the part that we can bring and complement, right? Oftentimes you will have, like I've worked with my content marketing team and uh, my web webinar team, and we're coming up with all of these abstracts and narratives and I'm going in and fine tuning it so that I'm still speaking the language for my customer, for my buyer. So I think that's where I like to bring this to reality. and be more market-driven, be more persona-led so we can drive that agility and velocity that we need. Wow, amazing. So I think now is when uh, we can do a little bit of crystal gazing, looking looking mm -hmm. into the future of AI. 